any thoughts on the Monster Factory docu series on Apple TV Plus? I have no thoughts at this point. I know it's occurring, I, but that's that's about the extent of it, right there. I know it's out there. Prediction for Adam Cole's first opponent back. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I'm Someone gonna, must be thrown to the wolves. I'm going to say just because he's in the commercial, Kyle O'Reilly. Well, Kyle O'Reilly's hurt. Now well, that's out then. And they're also friends. Sure, but he said he wanted somebody tough and that's true, dangerous to push him. So. I guess that's possible. Yeah, I don't know how, how hurt he's could hurt. Be like a, could be like a Daniel Garcia or something like that. How would you book Sting's final match in AEW? Who would you book him against? Well, it would be a tag match with Darby, and it would be against the champions, but not the Ass Boys. I think that's who I would do as his, as his big yeah. final match. FTR would be a strong, strong candidate. Sure, sure. Any word on Thunder Rosa returning? When she does return, how would she fit into the... Well, you know, uh, allegedly, according to the commercial, we're going to learn a lot about what went on with Thunder Rosa and, uh, and the other women in the locker room. All I know is that uh, she was supposed to be back. The story was she'd be back in, like, February or something like that. And then she started showing up at shows. And the next thing you know, she's on commentary. And she's not wrestling. And uh, what that means, I don't know. I guess she could be back at any time. Or maybe she won't be. Maybe she'll do commentary till her deal is up. I have absolutely no idea. But what I do know is it does not appear that she is wrestling right now. I know that. She's not. So uh, what that means, couldn't tell you. Do you know if she can wrestle? I'm sure she can wrestle. I mean, she was supposed to be back by uh, February, and I never heard anything like things weren't working out or anything like that. I never heard any, okay. anything like it's taken longer so, or anything. So she's medically cleared to wrestle. I don't know if she's medically cleared, but my okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure she would be able to wrestle, my guess. All right, sandwiches. It's everyone's favorite sandwich. <laughs> So I was at a shindig last night, Brian. I got a I got a sandwich for you. There was a cheese grilled cheese sandwich truck there. The, hmm. the cheese pit. I've heard of this. And uh, they had a uh, one of their sandwiches uh, has it was ham, pepper jack cheese, and sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. And I had them add jalapenos, and then instead oh. of, instead of the barbecue sauce. They had their own uh, garlic honey mustard. I had that on there instead. These are both excellent choices. That sandwich was pretty goddamn great. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey. Made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not my jokes work. <laughs> we barely. What does that mean? She's small. We, it's we barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doody, doodle. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. Yeah, I don't get it. What? See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.